is now in order to consider amendment number 12 printed in part B of House Report 114-326. For what purpose does the gentleman from Illinois seek recognition? I have an amendment at the desk. The clerk will designate the amendment. Amendment number 12, printed in Part B of House Report number 114-326, offered by Mr. Foster of Illinois. Mr. Red. Pursuant to House Resolution 512, the gentleman from Illinois, Mr. Foster, the member opposed, each will control five minutes. The chair recognizes the gentleman from Illinois. Thank you, Madam Chairman, and I thank the Chairman and Ranking Member for their hard work on this bill. My amendment is simple. It requires the Department of Transportation to send an annual report to Congress on how much funding each state has received from the Highway, Highway Trust Fund and how much each state has contributed to the Highway Trust Fund, both directly through the gas tax and related fees and taxes and indirectly through transfers from the General Fund. To understand why this is important, let's step back and ask why, how it is that we actually decide how much transportation money it is spent in each state. The bulk of this funding takes the form of formula grants to states with the overall allocation set by whatever it was done in previous years. This may tell us a lot about congressional politics in years gone by, but it tells us very little about good public policy. And all of this serves as a smokescreen, which begs the real question, how do we actually allocate our highway spending? Now, I'm a scientist, and I look at the facts. And as far as I can tell, here are the facts. Um, and this is a plot here that shows the, the annual per capita spending from the Highway Trust Fund plotted against uh, the number of U.S. Senators per 10 million people, which I will explain in a moment. And without objection, I would like uh, this included into uh, the record. Uh, this plot shows the, the excellent correlation. The request is covered under general leave. Thank you. This, shot, this plot shows the excellent correlation between the per capita transportation fund spending in each state with the number of senators per person that the state has. And that says a lot about how broken our transportation trust fund allocations are. So how do we allocate transportation spending? Is it, if it was calculated per capita, with each American getting roughly the same amount of transportation spending, if this were the case, then the transportation money would ultimately follow Americans to whatever states they chose to live in and could be applied to the best use in each state. Elegant mass transportation systems in urban states, highways through the wilderness in rural states, well-maintained commuter highways in suburban states. And spending in this way would not be a distortion of our, our economy. But that is not what we do. In fact, per capita transportation spending varies by more than a factor of seven from state to state, driven by mysterious formula handed down from generation to generation in Congress. So in my state of Illinois, we get about $107 per person per year in transportation spending, and I have a hard time explaining to my constituents why citizens of other states should get $200, $400, $600 or more every year in federal highway spending. The states that are getting rooked like this generally are the larger states, as can be seen um, on this plot. Um, these states, um, uh, so I, in order to, to rectify this, I actually filed an amendment to replace complex historical formula with a simple per capita allotment, which would have benefited uh, the states here, and uh, the states which contain 240 members of the U.S. Congress. And I was very disappointed that uh, it was decided that this amendment would not be in order. Or perhaps we should divide the Highway Trust Fund by economic productivity and actual highway usage. In this case, each state should take out from the Federal Highway Trust Fund the same amount that it paid in in taxes. This approach would have an element of basic fairness and eliminate the economic distortions from massive transfers of wealth between the states. But that's not what we do either. Many states are getting out of the Federal Highway Trust Fund several times more money than they paid into it, while other states, states like Illinois, New York, Florida, New Jersey, California, Michigan, Colorado, and many others are getting rooked. And so the Highway Trust Fund has simply become a vehicle for massive redistribution of wealth from one state to another. Getting to the bottom of this is what my amendment is about. 
My amendment would require the Department of Transportation to calculate in each year how much each state receives from the Highway Trust Fund. And the report would also include an accounting of how much revenue each state put into the Highway Trust Fund through both the gas tax and related contributions and contributions that were made through funds transferred from general revenue. While it is relatively easier to figure out how much revenue was collected from each state via the ta gas tax or personal income tax, determining the same for business tax is less straightforward. A business, for example, may file its taxes in Delaware, but most of its economic production might occur in a factory in Ohio. My amendment would require the IRS to assist the Department of Transportation in this analysis by looking not just at where a company files its taxes, but the state in which those tax dollars are generated. This kind of analysis has sporadically been done by private entities and nonprofits, but there's never been a sustained effort by the federal government to do so. Um, so I urge my colleagues to join me and to vote yes on this amendment. Uh, thank you, and I reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman's time has expired. Does any member wish to claim time in opposition? The question is on the amendment offered by the gentleman from Illinois. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. The amendment is agreed to. Is now in order to consider amendment.